I'm not a big believer in man-made climate change. Where's your brain? You know, how can our brains be so different? How can you not notice all the things that are changing? We already have 65 million displaced people around the world. Everything that we're experiencing today is from the emissions of 20 years ago. We've heard from our politicians, we've heard from the UN, we've heard from our actors, we've heard from our artists, blah, 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 blah. It's irresponsible of us to ignore young people and not have them involved in decision making. In the short time that I've been making television programs, the population of the world has tripled. I don't want to sound pessimistic, but the future is very, very dark. They're saying that by 2050 we can have more plastic in the ocean than we'll have fish. The next war is going to be a world war. That's inevitable. An armed conflict in a world with nuclear weapons is not something we ought to be facing. So that's the risk. And by the end of the century, that means there'll only be one billion people left out of seven billion. We're coming close to a point where it may be impossible to reverse it. I think we're living actually a very exciting moment. It is messy, but any transition is messy by definition. An economy that's growing is going to lead to greater carbon emission. Renewable energy is one thing, but there needs to be a cultural shift. We are paralyzing ourselves with pessimism. Our great dream is the ecotopia, harmony between the built environment and the natural environment.